athlete tries not to stink it up on the field, but in the locker room, they all stink. Our question is, which sport produces the smelliest athletes? Your TV may or may not be high definition. Just be glad it's not smell-o-vision. Take a deep breath, because it's time for the science of stink. For this test, we've chosen representatives from four different sports. Hockey player, Phil Hirsch. Professional auto racer, Dave Brown. Semi-pro football lineman, Eric Ellison. And MMA fighter, Mo Lawal. These volunteers will step into our custom-made stink chamber. An airtight capsule which will direct their vile vapors directly to the man with the best nose on the planet. NASA's master sniffer, George Aldrich. Why are you so uniquely qualified to help us with this? Okay, well, I am the uh, master sniffer. I actually have a uh, NASA government certified nose. George's job is to smell everything that goes up on the space shuttle to make sure it's safe and tolerable. NASA uses this nasal knot to sniff out potential problems before liftoff because repugnant smells can turn the shuttle into an orbiting Dodge oven. Once you're up 200 miles in space, you can't roll down the window. <laughs> so what we want to do is blindfold you and we're going to put our athletes into a customized sports science stink chamber. You're going to take a good old whiff and you're going to determine for us who is the stinkiest athlete. Okay. All right. <laughs> Time to put Nostril Domus to work. For the first stage of the test, each of our subjects gets right. Now it's warm in here. Each athlete is wearing gear typical of a sport, which they haven't cleaned for two weeks. With five million sweat glands on each athlete, that means 20 million sweat glands are working overtime. Next, we blindfold George, and he gets a whiff of what lies ahead. Oh, I hate to do this to you, George, but... Okay. This is science. Okay. Oh. Oh. The first athlete enters the specially constructed airtight chamber. Let's let it ferment a little bit. George, take your whiff. Airflow channels the smells wafting off the individual into a tube, which feeds directly into the gas mask. Okay, you got it? Oh, yeah. I got it. It's a little skunky. It's pretty skunky. It's so skunky that a hazmat team has to unstink the chamber. And the test continues with each athlete. George? Yes, sir? Let's take your whips. Demonstrating both professionalism and a reckless disregard for his own well-being, the master sniffer inhales representative samples of each athlete's aroma. <coughs> George, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Don't oh, oh, stay here. No, I can't stay there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That one, that's tough. That was tough. <laughs> this is tough. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it any longer. You have it locked and loaded in your brain? Yep. You want to take one more sniff? No. That's pretty awful. I think we might have a winner. <laughs> so which sport creates the nastiest stank? So the big moment of truth. Who was the stinkiest Athlete. Uh, without a doubt, uh, athlete number two. It was our hockey player. Right. 
I believe hockey players do smell the worst. I played the game and I played with others who stink to high heaven. It's important for us to know that these guys are just representative of the sports. The gear really plays the biggest factor. That's right. Ultimately, the stinkiest athletes are the ones with the ripest gear. In fact, sweat doesn't smell bad. B.O. is actually caused by bacteria dining on our sweat. The reason that we stink is because of bacteria on the skin which consume the sweat, and that process of consumption emits malodorous airs. So bacteria eats our sweat and then passes gas. That's right. Bacteria farts. And it's that sweat-eating farting bacteria that causes body odor. When gear covers the sweaty skin, it absorbs that farting bacteria. Add mold and mildew to the equation, and gear becomes the main culprit in this toxic stew of stench. That is outrageous. Since hockey has twice as much gear as other sports, even football, helmets and shoulder pads, thick gloves, and shin guards. Twice as much gear is in contact with our skin, and therefore twice as much stink is generated. <laughs> this is why hockey creates the most flagrant, fragrant fouls. It's all that gear. So remember, when it comes to stanky athletes, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> George, I want to thank you so much for helping us to determine which sport generates the stinkiest athletes. And guys, honestly, I would shake your hands, but you stink. You really, really stink.